Yeah, what's up? Tonight, I want to talk about calm. I'm just getting straight to the point. Um, I'm not trying not to make this video. I try to keep this video short. Um, but it's been on my heart to talk about my experience with karma and how it was revealed to me on um, what it really is. So karma is really nothing more than your spiritual credit report. That's it. So you understand how credit works. <laughs> and I know you probably like, you know, what? what what do you mean by that? But it's ultimately is what is your spiritual credit report? You know, it's actually a business, you know, like an app, they have credit karma. It is like it's a perfect example of that. You know what I mean? Um and so it's just like you look at your credit and how your how your credit is affected by your open accounts. And with your open accounts, are you in good standing with them or have you allowed them to you know, debt to build up and eventually lowers your credit score. So when you're in good standing, <clears throat> this credit score rises. Pay your bills on time, you know, you know, you on the point with it, and you, you know, opposite, you don't pay your bills, you don't address, um, everything is, you know, things going to default. You have debt, lowers your credit score. It's the same thing with karma. Karma, um, good karma, bad karma. When you deal with bad karma, is you a situation you may have experienced and you're not dealing with it. And you just try to act like it didn't happen. But a lot of times we have bills. You let bills come in the mail, <laughs> and I know I, you know, I'm, I do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even look at the bill. You know, you feel like uh, it makes you feel a way, like I don't want to deal with this shit. And the next thing you know, you know, you turn your lights off or, you know, <laughs> you, know you shut off the cable or turn your phone off. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and so it's the same. And then these things lower your credit score, right? So I want you to think about situations in your life that to this day, haven't addressed, but they haven't gone on with, and then in that situation that you haven't dealt with in your life, it's still playing out and affecting your life in some form or fashion, even if you don't think that it is. For me, there was a situation. There's not a situation, but I want. I don't know what to call this, but there was something that I had made a certain type of commitment in my past. And when that whole situation left, I tried to act like it didn't happen. I felt like it wasn't affecting my life in any kind of way. Um, I wasn't dealing with the situation. And I had never dealt with the situation until recently. But I was telling myself and telling other people, even though I don't talk about it, I was living in the mystical magical as if this whole situation was not affecting my life in a certain type of way. And when I came to the realization about it, and I was honest with myself, I realized that it was because of this situation, I wasn't able to move forward. And once I started to, and once I addressed the situation, once I took care of the situation, and that's another thing about karma, like or credit. Say for instance, you have a student loan. I know student loan has like a, a program, like a loan forgiveness program, where you're able to pay off your loans, and after after you make a certain amount of payments, even though you haven't paid all of your student loans after that paid that those numbers of payments you were forgiven 
where you don't have to pay anymore and boom, that's it. But you have to be in good standing and you have to pay on time every month for them. And, and it's the same thing with karma. Once you address and deal and, and you look at the things and you just have tried to find, put everything out there and talk about it. People give you different perspectives, whatever the case may be, but you find some sort of forgiveness within yourself. Uh, whether it be towards yourself or towards the person or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You will learn to be free from that, that situation where it's no longer on your karma report. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's no longer, you no longer have any type of feeling about it. Because what happens is that when things happen to us, um, accounts, certain accounts in our life, these things happen to us. And depending on how we feel about the situation, it's how we create good and bad karma in our lives. It has nothing to do with oh, what this person did to me, it's coming back on, you know, what I did to somebody coming back, it has nothing to do with that. That's not karma. Like, that's something else. You know what I mean? But karma is specifically, the per best quote I can say that I've heard in reference to karma is, how you treat someone is your karma. No, how somebody treats you, excuse me. How somebody treats you is, is their karma. How you react to it is your own. So karma has nothing to do with what you're doing to someone else and it's coming back to it. Karma is about what you hold on to. You're holding on to guilt, resentment, sadness, or, or whatever negative emotions. Those things are going to play out in your life some some form or fashion. And you don't even know why, but it usually has something to do with that one thing that you're not addressing. It can be some random shit about, you know, you, you cheated on your girlfriend and you feel guilty, right? Now, there are a lot of people that cheat on their spouse. Nothing happened to them. It doesn't come back on them. But if the people who cheat and then feel guilty about cheating, usually some shit happens to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're holding some type of energy around it, some type of guilt around it, some type of whatever around it. Or so, um, and then it, then it just happens. To, it just happens like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but then once you address it, address the feeling, address the energy, um, forgive yourself, forgive the person. Try to find, try to let go of whatever you're feeling about it. It will change your karma, which then will balance your, it will balance your karma is a better word that I would use. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and for me, I probably, like the day that, you know, there was one particular situation that made me see all of this like that, you know what I'm saying? And once I, I addressed it, it just, it was almost like a, um, I just wanted to address everything. <laughs> Cause that, that, I'm an extremist like that. It's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, what else is that I'm not dealing with? Uh, you know, all these different things, it's just all these things are popping up and realizing that I was feeling all kind of ways about so many different things. And, you know, and I was able to talk about it, whether it be, you know, there was a, um, this place I used to go to where it was like, you know, a bunch of, you know, brothers and sisters would come together and we would just have conversations about things that, you know, that was just going on in life and just being open and real. And, and it was a safe space where we could talk about, you know, things that we may have some type of shame around, you know what I mean? And people don't judge you. You know, I go to therapy, I have a, you know, I have a therapist. You know what I'm saying? I talk to her about a lot of different things. Um, just to find, you know, and she helps me, you know, sort things out and put things in perspective. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, it's really just about just having just an 
good energy around things, you know what I'm saying, good emotions around things. Um and 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 that's where we that's how we able to balance our calm. You know, just and, and just you know just being in, you know, have have great spiritual credit. You know what I mean, as I would say. So, um, yeah, that's my whole thing about it. Um, on that. But yeah, just ultimately with karma, just just deal with whatever it is that you're not talking about, things that you're not addressing, you know, things that need to be addressed, things that need to be talked about, things that need to be built on. You know, I'm talking about that thing, just really talking about I had a homegirl. You you know, I was sharing this whole thing with her and she was like, Wow, it's funny you say that and she told me about some some situation that happened years ago in her life that she had totally forgot about it until she started, you know, I guess she had reconnected with somebody and, and it was that situation that she had never talked about with that person. And, you know, she didn't realize she was holding some type of, you know, guilt around it. And once she opened up to that person and was honest to them about it, you know what I'm saying, she forgave herself, you know what I mean? And I guess she released whatever it was and she was, you know, able to move on and, you know, she felt she felt lighter. And that's really ultimately what it's about. You know what I'm saying? What are you holding on to? Because believe it or not, we think that we we try to suppress shit. That same thing we trying to suppress is the reason why we feel like we really can't move forward in life. Straight up. Whatever it is. Like, it can be some old shit. And it could be something that we did to somebody or something that happened to us. Right? And however we feel, you know what I mean? Whether we angry, whatever. But we just acting like it doesn't happen. We're not being honest with ourselves. But it's that same thing. Even though we think it's not affecting our life, it's probably the number one reason why we can't move forward in life. So that's why we have to find forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? Learn to forgive the situation, give ourselves, give the person. And I'm not saying you gotta fuck the fuck with the person or you know what I'm saying? We gotta put ourselves back into it, but just for your own self, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I forgive that person. But you don't gotta call them, you gotta be like, oh yeah, let's kick it, let's hang out, no. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of motherfuckers that, like, I forgive it, you know what I mean? But I just don't deal with them on that level. You know what I'm saying? Because just don't, you know, just realize you just don't need that type of energy in your life for certain people. And I'm sure people feel like that about me because I've made a lot of mistakes. I've done a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I could be open about it. You know what I mean? And then I could have um, you know, some type of, you know, I have accountability in that sense. But, um, but yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to keep this short and quick. But please share your comments, your thoughts. Um, like I said, this, this, is, this channel is all about just learning from one another. I'm sure people have something to add. I'm sure so people have, you know, debates and, you know, but this is all love, you know what I'm saying? Just sharing my thoughts with y'all. So, you know, your comments, you know, your likes, your dislikes, whatever. Well, um, it's all accepted. But, so peace out, y'all. Till next time.